Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we will continue our meditation on the Psalms of liturgical worship in the Orthodox Church with a reflection on the next verse of Psalm 122. We've been meditating on how the psalm tells us that we ought to have our eyes fixed on God, always ready to respond to him affirmatively when he calls us to whatever he will be calling us to, uniquely and unrepeatably. And the next line departs slightly from that, reminding us that while our eyes are on God and that we are waiting for him, we know at the end of the previous verse that we are waiting for his pity, his mercy. And the line in verse 3 begins, Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we are greatly filled with abasement. This is a reminder again that even though we faithfully wait for God and we are faithful in our anticipation of his unique and unrepeatable call to each and every one of us. We exist by the grace of his mercy. We exist by the reality that he heals and sustains and takes pity upon us. We fall short so frequently, but he is ever faithful, and we ask him to be merciful to us in our shortcomings, in our abasement. We continue in verse 4, with greatly hath our soul been filled therewith, that is, with abasement. Let the reproach come upon them that prosper and the abasement on the proud. We must remember that we cannot be puffed up. We must remain humble in the reality that we fall short that we ever are in need of God's loving and merciful embrace, that we need to be forgiven in our very intentional offering of repentance. God will forgive us, for we know he is a merciful and loving God. And our eyes are fixated on God, waiting for him to have mercy on us, waiting ever for him to call us so that we may serve him. We are always intentional about this. But what does this look like? What does it really look like to wait with bated breath upon the word that comes from God? Do we just haphazardly meander about hoping that God will speak to us? Do we simply remain idle until we hear a cry from God like Paul did on the road to Damascus? No, I don't believe that this is what we are called to do. No, what I think we are called to do is to be active in our life of faith, to do those good things that show that we are faithful servants of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And in doing so, we will be ready to receive God, to receive the loving mercy of our God, to receive his divine presence, which is freely given to us in his great love for us. We, though, need to prepare. We need to be ready. We need to have our eyes, our minds, our hearts, our whole being fixated on God, oriented towards him, so that he will find us not idle or distracted, but ready and waiting for his love, his mercy, his grace, his divine presence. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a message on social media, leave us a note in the comment section. Remember to follow us on YouTube and like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on social media, on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you'd like to support this ministry, don't hesitate. 
to follow the link that will be offered below. God bless you. Again, have a beautiful rest of your day.